France are rekindling spirit of 1998 and making fans dream again. Nothing will ever be the same. For French football. And, for France, which has discovered, in a week, a passion for its football team which has swept aside everything in its path, all rivalries, all controversies, all differences. France's 3-0 victory over Brazil in the final of the 1998 World Cup, inspired by Zinedine Zidane, was always about more than 11 men. For sports newspaper Le Coup, and the million or so fans who flooded the champs a it promised something greater still. The emotional outpouring, the biggest show of national solidarity since the Second World War, was supposed to mark a new era in the nation's history. A country devastated by two bloody conflicts in the first half of the century would enter the new millennium on top of the sporting world. Gone, it was hoped, was the vision and in its place stood a people united, multicultural and triumphant, made proud by a squad united, multicultural and triumphant. Suddenly France bled black, blank, beer, black white Arab, and Zidane, the son of Algerian immigrants and Marseille's most notorious estate had become its symbolic leader. Four decades after his father Smale had arrived in France and slept among the rubble where the State de France would later dwarf the Parisian banlieue of Saint-Denis, Zizou was the toast of his countrymen. Zidane, president the crowds in Paris cried. For eternity read Le Coup's front page headline the day after the final. In the two decades since, however, those bonds of optimism have been tested to their limit. Strikes, sex tapes and on-field struggles have invited scorn and mistrust, while the 2017 presidential elections saw the far-right front national receive more votes than ever before. Polls, too, suggest the French football team lags badly behind its counterparts in rugby and handball in terms of popular support. But as Didier Deschamps, the captain, leader, water carrier of that 1998 triumph, prepares to lead France's current crop to another World Cup, hope has been rekindled. In a team rebranded and re-energized over the past half-decade, parallels with 1998 abound. And on the eve of their opening game in Russia, Deschamps is again the head of an ethnically diverse team carrying the dreams of a nation. Four years is a long time in football. As eyes turned to the United States for the 1994 World Cup, the French team was in crisis. Needing only a point from two home games to reach the finals, Les Bleus were beaten by both Israel and Bulgaria. With a home tournament edging closer, the task fell to Amy Jacket to try to avert the threat of national humiliation. He set about studying the ship and at Euro 96 France salvaged some pride, reaching the semi-finals. But the football was uninspiring and off the pitch, too, problems were bubbling. Politicians understood that football was an area that evoked passion in people. Van Gastat, author of La Matissage par la Foot, L'Integration, Mace Jus Quo? Ethnic diversity by football, but to where? Tells Sports Mail. Group C, France 3 0, South Africa France 4 0, Saudi Arabia France 2 1, Denmark Class 16, France 1 0, Paraguay Quarter Finals, Italy 0 0, France. 3-4 on penalties, semi-finals, France 2-1 Croatia final, France 3-0 Brazil The front national were the first to mobilize against the French team. In 1996, two years before the World Cup, leader, Jean-Marie Le Pen gave a speech about the players, saying they didn't represent the French team and were too mixed race. Jacket, too, came under fire from parts of the press and public. The media in France especially Le Coup, had a bit agenda against Jacket, they never believed in him, they never thought he was the right man for the job, French football writer Julian Lorenz claims. At their Clairefontaine base, manager and players closed ranks and set about answering their critics. They were rightly unfrenzied, entering the tournament ranked 18th in the world. But victories over South Africa, Saudi Arabia and Denmark secured progress to the knockout stages where Paraguay, Italy and Croatia fell, too. By the time they walked out to face Brazil, France's mixed-race side had turned doubters into believers. Of the eleven that started at the Stade de France, 
three were born outside of the mainland, while the heritage of French-born Zidane, Algeria, Yuri Jork, Armenia, Poland, Russia, and CO helped create a concoction to which compatriots could relate. Many of Jacket's squad had grown up in the kind of city suburb, infamous for unemployment, exclusion, poverty and racial tension, where the national stadium now stood, offering sporting immortality. France. 4-3-2-1, Barthez, Thurum, Leboeuf, De Sailly, Lizarazu, Deschamps, Carambu, Bogoshin 57, Betty, Zidane, Jorf, Vieira 74, Givark, Dugary 66, Goals, Zidane 27, 45, Petty 90 Yellow Cards, 